Today we are going to see graph traversal two algorithms one is the BFS and another one is DFS like we will visit the graph with the help of breadth for search and depth for search Hello everyone this is Sharda from Go Edu Hub Technologies and today we are going to see the graph traversal like in the yesterday's class we have seen what is the graph we have created the graph and then we uh, got the shortest path in the graph. Now we will see how we can traverse a particular graph. There are the different mechanisms. One of them is breadth first and second is depth first. So first we will see what is the breadth first. Okay. How this algorithm is working and how we are going to use this algorithm. Okay. Am I audible, clear and loud? Guys, can you please confirm me in the chat window? So in the BFS, what we are going to do, we are going to traversing all the adjacent first. Like if you are starting visiting, I have taken one graph here. Okay, you can take any graph. This is just sample graph and we can start visiting a node, a root node either a root node is given or you can pick any node as a root node if i'm visiting this node first node then after visiting this node i have to visit all the adjacent of this node okay we are basically exploring every node a we are going to use a specific strategy for visiting all the nodes nodes i mean to say vertices Okay, it starts with a particular node and then it takes its neighbor of this node. And then it will take neighbor of them like it will start from zero, then will go it will take the neighbor one and neighbor three. After taking neighbor one and two, we will pick one of them. Any we can pick any of them, like either we can pick one first or either we can pick the three first. When I pick the first, then I'll visit all the neighbors of this one. Okay. And one thing we need to keep into the mind is we never visit. Here we will keep a concept of visited nodes. The nodes which are we already visited, we don't include in the next time. Okay, so here uh, first we are picking the BFS. Okay, in the BFS we will keep the concept of visited or not visited. Two things. Okay, first thing is visited and second thing is not visited. Basically our purpose is to mark every vertex as visited while avoiding the cycles. So we will follow certain steps here steps i can say we can start from any of the vertex of the graph okay and here for using this bfs what the data structure we are using we are using q data structure you know what is the q already uh, we have learned the q q is basically first in first out data structure okay so uh, we are keeping a list or a array of nodes and as well as we are uh, keeping an array of q So let's start first visiting this, uh, this graph, okay? Or we can see first the steps. First step is we need to pick a root node or you can say initial node. And then mark the initial node as a visited. Okay. 
okay and push it into a cube third step is we will basically we will explore this initial node and add its neighbors to the cube we are exploring every node so we explore this root node okay we explore the root node and then we will add its neighbor to the cube when we will add its neighbor to the cube then we will remove this initial from the cube okay and we are checking e either the neighbors are any of the neighbor is already visited or not if neighbor is not visited then we will mark them as a visited and this process we will repeat for all the nodes okay uh, let me start the execution for this particular graph okay i'll change the color of pointer so that you will get the clear vision so here i'll start from this okay and i'm making a cube in just a second and increase the size of this edge i don't know how to do this Okay, I want as this much space. Okay, that's enough. Now here I'll create a queue and I'll mark a array of like here I'll create a list for the visited and I'll create a list for the queue. okay so here i'm writing visited okay and one queue like here i'm having element is 0 okay 0 node is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 Initially, I'll pick zero as a root node. Okay, so I'll visit this zero. So here I'm keeping the zero. Okay, and I'll mark this zero as a visited node. Okay. Now I'll push it into the queue. Inside the queue, I'll push the zero inside the queue. Okay. Now I'll explore its neighbors. What are the neighbor? Neighbor is one and three. Okay, so I'll put its neighbor one and three into the queue, and one and three as visited. Okay. Next time, what happens? Its neighbors I have visited. I have put it its neighbor into the queue. So I'll. pop out this zero from the queue and i'll print into the output print zero this is my output next thing is now i have visited 1 and 3 from i can pick like uh, order i can put any like 3 or 1 3 1 and 1 3 i have put it here 1 3 then i'll pick this one okay and i'll visit its neighbor once neighbor is once neighbor is 3 2 and 5 and 6 okay and 1 0 
zero three two five six. From zero three two five six, you can see here in the visited we already have zero one three. So zero we are having, three we are having. So what we are put here? We are put here two five six. Okay, and here also we will put two five and six. And now we will remove this one. So one we will put here. Okay. Next thing is, I will visit the next node. So here one is visited, one is uh, explored. First thing is visited, and another thing is explored. Means it's all the neighbors I have considered. Next is I'll pick the node is three. For the three, you can see the neighbors is zero and one and then two and then four. So zero and one is already explored, and two and four from two and four you can see here two is already visited. So I'll put only the four here and four in Q. Okay, and this three I'll put in the output. Okay, similar thing. Now I'll go to the Second node, this explode three is explode. Now I'll go to this second node, and the neighbor for the second node is one, three, four, five. One, three, four, and five. So one is already visited. Three is here. Four is also. Five is also. So we don't put anything in the visited, and we will put this two in output. Similarly, for the five, okay, this two is explored. For the five, we will see its neighbor is two and one. That is already explored. So five we will put into the output. Then for the six, you can see six is here. Neighbor is for the six is one and four. Four is already uh, visited. So we will put the six here and we explore the six. Now next is four and four. Six is already explored, and five is also explored. So four we will put. It's all the neighbors are explored. Okay, so you can see the output here. Zero, one, three, two, five, six, four. Okay, so this is the way we are visiting using the breadth first search. Okay, guys, are you getting the concept? What is the breadth first search? The steps we are followed here. Steps we are followed here. We can start from any node, and then we will put this node into the queue and add it to the visited list. And we will create a list of its adjacent in the visited. Um, we are. Exploring all the its adjacent and adjacent we are putting inside the queue. Okay, and if a particular node is explored completely, then we will dequeue that node for the output. Okay. There are the certain real-time applications of the BFS is like for the GPS navigation, BFS can be used, and to build a index by search, you can use the BFS. For the path finding algorithm, you can use the BFS, and for the cycle detection in undirected graph, you can use the BFS. Basically, BFS is a AI search algorithm that can be used for finding solution to the problems. Okay. And BFS always explores node one depth level at. So it is also called BFS. We also call the level traversal.
like initially we are at this level and then we will complete the next level if you see in the case of the tree then you can clear vision like one level this is the level zero and then this is the level one and then the level two like this it always traverses the node in the structure of level okay hope you got the idea now we will write a code for the bfs okay let me write the python code for the bfs okay what the thing we have to use here actually we have to use here a queue and a simple list like visited we are making a a list of unique numbers okay so let me write the code here and then we will see the complexity of this algorithm okay so bfs in python okay so we will define a function def and we will write the name of the function like bfs and inside this we are passing our graph and then we have to pass our root node okay and then we need to pay, make here two list or you can say two arrays so one is the visited we are making a visited equals to a set set is always unique numbers okay i'm not uh, keeping a simple list i'm keeping here a set and we will put here one queue so queue you can use using the collections like we have already impo uh, implemented the queue so import collection import collections and from the collections we will use dq so here i can write collections dot dq okay and inside this also i'll pass the root node okay now i'll write a loop to visiting all the nodes okay so while while my queue is not empty okay we will dequeue a node from this queue initially our queue is having a root node so we need to dequeue root node and we need to add all the neighbors of this root node to the queue two things we need to make we need to dequeue a element from a queue and we need to add its neighbors to the queue that is called the n queue operation okay so here i'm writing a condition like dq a vertex dq a vertex from q okay then we can write here vertex okay vertex equals to q dot pop left okay left item top of the uh, last in first out what is the q first in last out tell me last in first out f4 f4 first in first out q is first in first out we studied that very clearly okay so the left element we will dq and then print we will print str vertex okay and you can plus space and then a new line as in the same line now we will add its neighbors okay 
so in the visited okay so if a node is not visited if vertex is not visited mark it as a visited and nq nq it okay so we will write here a for loop for all the neighbors okay neighbor in graph vertices okay and if neighbor is not in visited then we will add to the visited and we will add to the queue if neighbor not in visited okay then visited dot add neighbor okay and we will add to the our q also q dot append okay this is the way the simple program we put it one is the visited set and one is the q so if initially we will put a root node so root node inside the q okay inside the q we are having the root node so first we will dequeue this root node okay we will pop out this root node okay and that is our vertex okay and then we will visit all the neighbors of this vertex from the graph so neighbors in the graph vertex and if neighbor is not in visited we will add to the visited and we will add to the queue like in our case first r0 is a root node and then its neighbor is 1 and 3 so what we are doing here initially 0 in q and visited is empty from this q we will pop out the 0 and then we will check the its neighbor its neighbor is 1 and 3 1 and 3 is not in visited so we will add 1 and 3 to the visited and we will add 1 and 3 to the q okay and now our q having 1 and 3 so this loop is uh, not ending while q having certain elements so q having 1 and 3 so we will pop out one first left element one and then we will take the its uh, neighbors of the one okay neighbors of the one we will see here neighbors of the one is 2 3 5 okay 2 3 5 0 2 3 5 6 Zero two three five six, and then we will check the neighbor is not in visited, so zero is already in the visited. Okay, and two is already in the visited, so we will not put them visited and in queue, and the element which are not in visited, we will add to the visited and queue. Okay. Now I'll run this code. so i have to write here a graph okay so graph in what form graph we will implement with the help of the dictionary so here i'll create a dictionary so i'm writing a dictionary here okay so i can write zero zero is my key and the values for the zero is what the elements for the zero is 1 and 3 1, 3 similarly i have to write for 1 okay and for 1 you can see Zero comma 
आई थिंक थ्री कोमा टू कोमा फाइव लेट मी चेक आउट जीरो थ्री टू फाइव जीरो थ्री टू फाइव एंड सिक्स ऑल्सो ओके सिमिलरली आई हैव टू राइट फोर टू ऑल्सो फॉर द टू यू कैन सी वी आर हैविंग आई थिंक थ्री फोर फाइव वन थ्री फोर फाइव लेट मी चेक आउट फोर द टू वन थ्री फोर फाइव ओके एंड फोर थ्री वी आर हैविंग जीरो वन टू फोर थ्री जीरो वन टू फोर And then four, I have to write four. I think I have two, three, six. Let me check out four, two, three, six. Okay, and for the five, I have one and two. Five, one, comma two. Okay, and for the six. I have one and four. Okay, and let me call this function BFS function. BFS and graph comma zero. Okay. And let me run this. Zero one three zero two five six four, something wrong. Zero one three two five six four. Why this again? Zero is coming. Something. coming if i pop out this let me check it out just a second Yes, here I have to add. Visited. Visited. Dot add because in the visited I am not adding root. Now I hope this will work fine. Yes, zero one three two five six four. That's the output. Okay, guys, can you please confirm me? Are you getting the things? Like BFS, we have completed the BFS with the program. Okay, here actually I was not added uh, root node to the visited, so it's adding two times. So initially I have to add the root node, and then we will start the visit. Similarly, we will see the next algorithm that is the DFS. And first, we will see it's a complexity. What is the complexity for the BFS? Complexity is order of v plus e vertices plus e z. Okay. You can say its a time complexity is represented in the form of v plus order of v plus e. V, you know, the number of uh, vertices, and e is number of edges. And space complexity is depends on the vertices only. So space complexity is order of v. And we can use in the different real time applications. We are using the BFS.
yeah obviously every algorithm having some advantages and disadvantages so bfs having advantages is like uh, it can be used in order to find out the graph has connected component or not it always finds it always returns a shortest path if there is more than one path between two vertices but there is some disadvantages disadvantages for the bfs is this algorithm is not useful when the large graph when your graph is very large we we don't use bfs okay now we will come to the uh, one graph i have taken yeah this one i can check out for this also like in place of this graph i can take the another graph i can test for the another graph also okay and i'll comment this and then i'll also comment this one and again i'll call be a first and inside this i'm passing graph and then e root not and now you can see the output output is a b c e d f c okay so we are following certain steps now we will come to the depth for search let me i open this in the day of first we use stack like in the bfs we have used q in the dfs we are using this stack okay depth first search is traversal in recursive order we are searching all the vertices of the graph and we are going in deeper and deeper okay i'll create a simple graph here like zero and then you can see one and then you can see two okay and then you can see three and then you can see four something like this okay here i'll take one stack in the stack what happens first and last out what is the stack concept first in last out we know the stack so here we will see we will create one visited array okay and we will keep one stack we start from a vertex like here we are starting from a vertex called zero okay and we will put this vertex into the visited list okay a uh, visited list we are putting this and in this stack we are putting it's all the adjacent so it's adjacent is 1 it's adjacent is 1 2 and 3 so we are putting in the stack 1 2 and 3 okay next what we will do we will visit the element at the top of this stack okay we we are we are putting all three then we will go from one we we pick any of them one and then we will go in the deep so we will put here the top of the stack we visit the top of the stack okay that is basically top of the stack is you can put either 1 2 3 and 3 2 1 it's up to you 
okay so i'm picking here like i'm picking the three then for the three i will take its adjacent node okay so for the three there is no more adjacent only zero is adjacent that is already visited so here we are using the concept of backtracking i'll go back then i'll see a zero okay and zero is already visited okay we pop out the three three i have removed okay then zero is already then i'll go to the this adjacent of 0 is 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 in the stack so here I'll take 2 now top of the stack is 2 for the 2 adjacent is 1 and 4 ok 1 is already 1 and 4 so 1 and 4 is not visited so I'll put here 1 and 4 Okay. I have not put it visited for the zero now. Okay, sorry. When I'm visiting the zero, it means I'm visiting its neighbors. So one, two, and three. I'm visiting all all of them now. Basically, I just want to tell you, I can increase this graph. 6, 7, okay. Here is the 5, something like this, okay. So, what we are doing, uh, initially we are visiting 0. So, its neighbor is 0, we are putting into the visited and its neighbor is 1, 2, 3, we are putting in the stack. From 1, 2, 3, I am picking any of them, like I am picking 3. So, for the 3, I am visiting its neighbor, that is the 5. Okay. So, 5 is visited and I am put into the star, top of 3, I will put outside and 5, I am putting in the star. Then, I will go back. There is no more child for the 5. So, I will go back. Okay. I will go back and I will pop out the 5 from the stack. So, 5 is outside and 3 is already visited. Okay. I will come to the 0. And for 0, its neighbor is, 0 is already visited, its neighbor is 1 and 2, I can go either of them. So, I am taking here 2, so 2 I am taking outside and for 2, I am going its neighbor is 4. So, 4 I am putting in, into the visited and then 4 I am putting here, okay, 2 is outside. So, 4, then 4 we will see its neighbor, its neighbor is 6 and 7. Okay, 6 and 7 we are put into the visited. Okay, now you can come either one way, 6 or 7. So, 7 we are picking this 7, 7 we will put outside. Then go back 4, then we will put outside 6 then 4 ok and then 1 something like this what I just want to tell you actually in the TFS we are going down deeper and deeper it's not like we are visiting all the child ones you can pick any of them child and then you go in the downside and then you will backtrack Backtracking means like in a tree or in a graph, you are moving forward and there are no more nodes. So, there are no more nodes, then we will go back to the same path. 
So here I'll write certain steps for the DFS. Let me write the steps. Okay. Let me write here the steps. What we are doing here. First we are selecting a start node or you can say a root node. Mark this node as a visited. And push this into the stack. Okay. Then you can say we will explore any of adjacent nodes of the start node. We can pick any of. Explore. Any one of adjacent node of root node which are unvisited unvisited and this unvisited node we will mark as visited and then we will put into the stack And this process we will repeat, these three steps we will repeat. And once all the nodes are visited, then we will pop all the elements from stack. Okay. Let me explain you with the help of the program. Okay. This is very simple. Here we don't need to write something else. Here we can simply use a list or you can say a set. We can take a stack or we can take a simple visited list. We can take a start node. We can take a destination node if we want. Okay. And applications for the DFS is simply we can find out a path, we can test either graph is bipartite, we can find the strongly connected components, we can detect cycles in the graph. Complexity is same as uh, BFS. Okay, so let me write here the code now. Okay, for the DFS, I'll define a function called DFS and inside this, I'm passing our graph, okay, and the start node and visited initially, I'm keeping none, okay, and then here I'm writing if visited is none, visited equals to a empty set and I'll add the start node. If visited is none, obviously initial is none, and then I'll add visited equals to a set. I'm defining a set. I don't want to repeat the things. Visited and visited dot add start node okay then i'll print the start node 
now i'll write here logic like next element i just want to visit the next element recursively here i'll visit the recursively elements okay so for i'll write a loop for next in graph start okay and i just want to remove the visited and then i can recursively call the first graph and the next okay and then i can write here the visited and then i can return the visited this is the simple and graph i can pick any graph and then i can call the dfs like i'm picking this graph okay and for this graph i'm calling dfs and let me run this code some error list and set Okay. And let me correct out. Four next in a start. Okay. Visited, visited is a set. It should work. No, it's not working. Okay. Let me check. next in graph start okay it's not working Let's can you find out the error? Okay, let me remove this part. I'll change the logic. Is there the problem here or somewhere else? Maximum recursion depth exceed in the comparison. Yes, I need to put out here the condition.
okay i need to make this as a set it won't work in the list so minus widgeted okay and i'll make this set then this will work otherwise i need to change that simple algorithm you can write your own logic also like different logic also here i have written one way i can write by the other ways also so i have to make this set because the difference is one is the set and another one is a list so it won't work so that's why i have to make either both list or both set okay so now you can see the output is a b d e a b c d e f g okay so this is the way you can write the code okay so i hope you are getting the uh, bfs and dfs you can try after the class bfs and dfs basically concept is in the bfs we always go we visited all the nodes first all the adjacent but in the dfs we are picking any one of them adjacent and then we are going deeper and deeper okay guys so i think this is enough for today both having the order of e plus v complexity and dfs is also having certain benefits and you know certain disadvantages like this is a backtracking algorithm okay so you can easily uh, visit you can easily use this algorithm this uses the recursion we already studied the recursion okay it is a recursive implementation and we generally use this for detecting the cycles in the graph or you can say for finding the path okay guys thank you so much this is enough for today just practice bfs and dfs after the class so uh, in the dsc tutorial let me come to the dsc training dsc with python our course which we have declared let me see um, i think what topics we have already covered let me check out so introduction we have seen searching algorithm we have seen shorting we have seen linked list we have seen and uh, then a stack and queue and then trees also some part of the trees and arrays we know graph graph traversal and there is two things are remaining one is the divide and conquer and one is the dynamic program from the divide and conquer we already got the concept and one algorithm you can say merge short is example of divide and conquer but the most important thing that is the remaining is dynamic programming okay so in the next coming lectures we will study dynamic programming okay guys thank you so much we'll see you on monday tomorrow is off